with the situation, remind yourself, I have a choice. The goal is to be the observer of your thoughts and not let your thoughts control you. The quality of one's life depends on the quality of attention. Whatever you pay attention to will grow more important in your life. There is no limit to the kinds of changes that awareness can produce. Every cell in your body is eavesdropping on your thoughts. Thinking happy thoughts literally creates a positive chemical change in the brain, which stimulates both positive physical and psychological benefits. The best use of imagination is creativity. The worst use of imagination is anxiety. The mind and the body are like parallel universes. Anything that happens in the mental universe must leave tracks in the physical one. The most creative act you will ever undertake is the act of creating yourself. The way you think, the way you behave, the way you eat can influence your life by 30 to 50 years. To change the printout of the body, you must learn to rewrite the software of the mind. The body does not create the mind, the mind creates the body. Replace your self-defeating thoughts with self-supporting thoughts. What you pay attention to grows. If your attention is attracted to negative situations and emotions, then they will grow in your awareness. The next thing you think, the next action you take, will either create a new possibility for you, or it will repeat the past. Start by thinking of the smallest possible action you could take, then take it. Then choose the next smallest action and do that. Everything I desire is within me. Perception is a selective act of attention and interpretation. When you perceive yourself as spirit, you will not simply feel love, you will be love. You will begin to see your life as an opportunity to share the special gift you alone can bestow upon the world. There are only two responses to the world, fear or love. Your life depends on which one you choose. To acquire true self-power, you have to feel beneath no one, be immune to criticism, and be fearless. Be kind to yourself and others. Come from love every moment you can. You'll never get anywhere unless you're independent of the good and bad opinion of others. Be fearless. First, say to yourself, I'm totally independent of the good or bad opinions of others. Second, I'm beneath no one. Third, I'm fearless in the face of any and all challenges. The gifts of caring, attention, affection, appreciation, and love are some of the most precious gifts you can give, and they don't cost you anything. It's hard enough to change ourselves. We can't expect other people to change so that we feel better. We have to take the journey ourselves. You alone are the judge of your worth and your goal is to discover infinite worth in yourself, no matter what anyone else thinks. Be happy for no reason, like a child. 
If you are happy for a reason, you're in trouble, because that reason can be taken from you. Every time you are tempted to react in the same old way, ask if you want to be a prisoner of the past or a pioneer of the future. In the process of letting go, you will lose many things from the past, but you will find yourself. You must find the place inside yourself where nothing is impossible. Meditation is not a way of making your mind quiet. It is a way of entering into the quiet that is already there, buried under the 50,000 thoughts the average person thinks every day. Your very existence is evidence of your innate creativity. In every moment, you are co-creating your reality through your thoughts, your intentions, your words, and your actions. You are not creating a new you, you are releasing a hidden you. The process is one of self-discovery. The hidden you that wants to emerge is in perfect balance. The universe has much bigger plans for you than you ever dreamed of for yourself. To define yourself is to limit yourself. Without labels, you remain the infinite being. Be willing to redefine yourself every day. Stop repeating what never worked in the first place. Stand back and ask for a new solution. You are the most important part of the family. Take care of yourself first. Then you'll be able to take care of everyone else even better. Know that people are doing the best they can from their level of awareness. Accept people for who they are and always be ready to forgive. When you struggle with your partner, you are struggling with yourself. Every fault you see in them touches a denied weakness in yourself. If you have your full attention in the moment, you will see only love. Take some time each day to bring clarity to your inner world. There are no accidents, there is only some purpose that we haven't yet understood. It is much more beneficial to your health if you feel your way through life than think your way through life. Base your happiness on being real, not on illusions and expectations. The key to lasting happiness is to stop looking for it and to know that you already have it. Everything that is happening at this moment is a result of the choices you've made in the past. Relinquish your attachment to the known, step into the unknown, and you will step into the field of all possibilities. What keeps life fascinating is the constant creativity of the soul. The soul knows everything. Be who you are, and your life will transform forever. Don't let a day go by without asking who you are, each time you let a new ingredient to enter your awareness. Life gives you plenty of time to do whatever you want to do, if you stay in the present moment. You give to the world your greatest gift when you're being yourself. In every failure lies the seeds of success. Life is a field of unlimited possibilities. When we experience the power of the self, there is an absence of fear, there is no compulsion to control, and no struggle for approval or external power. 
Everything that happens to us is a reflection of who we are. People will suffer almost anything, as long as it means they don't have to change. Knowledge of any kind brings about a change in awareness from where it is possible to create new realities. Every experience that we have is unique to us because at some deep level, we make an interpretation of it. The most satisfying project you will ever undertake and a mark of a complete human being is to discover how to build a sense of happiness that no one can take away from you. Anger is remembered pain, fear is anticipated pain, guilt is self-directed pain, depression is depletion of energy. Cure, return to love and joy. Don't regret the past or fear the future. Both bring misery through self-doubt. What you seek, you already are. However good or bad you feel about your relationship, the person you are with at this moment is the right person because he or she is the mirror of who you are inside. When you expand your awareness, seemingly random events will be seen to fit into a larger purpose. The possibility of stepping into a higher plane is quite real for everyone. It requires no force or effort or sacrifice. It involves little more than changing our ideas about what is normal. An intention synchronistically organizes its own fulfillment. If you are not astonished that you exist, your humanity is not complete. Our most natural state is joy. It is the foundation for love, compassion, healing, and the desire to alleviate suffering. The purpose of life is the expansion of happiness. Freedom is letting go. My intent today is to expand the flow of abundance through the energy of gratitude. Always go with your passions. Never ask yourself if it's realistic or not. Every action generates a force of energy that returns to us in kind. Every experience in life changes the brain's anatomy. Don't try to steer the river. If you live the questions, life will move you into answers. If your attention is focused only on the result, then you are no longer in the process. But if you're in the process, then the result is guaranteed. Spirit is passionate. Without passion, no one can be truly spiritual. If you had all the money and all the time in the world, what would you do? Meditation is a vital way to purify and quiet the mind, thus rejuvenating the body. I use memories, but I will not allow memories to use me. Success comes when people act together. Failure tends to happen alone. When you blame and criticize others, you are avoiding some truth about yourself. The world out there won't change until the world in here does. If you focus on success, you'll have stress. But if you pursue excellence, success will be guaranteed. You don't give up the intention and you don't give up the desire. You give up your attachment to the results. Our 
consciousness is our contribution to reality. What we perceive as real becomes real. All relationship is a reflection of your relationship with yourself. Negative people deplete your energy. Surround yourself with love and nourishment and do not allow the creation of negativity in your environment. Treat every moment as a gift, that is why it is called the present. Once you know who you really are, being is enough. You feel neither superior to anyone, nor inferior to anyone, and you have no need for approval, because you've awakened to your own infinite worth. All great changes are preceded by chaos. Whatever relationships you have attracted in your life at this moment are precisely the ones you need in your life at this moment. There is a hidden meaning behind all events, and this hidden meaning is serving your own evolution. Everything that happens to you is self-created. Take responsibility for your last bad decision and then let it go. Don't blame others or make excuses for yourself. Negative emotions are like unwelcome guests. Just because they show up on our doorstep doesn't mean they have a right to stay. Language creates reality. Words have power. Speak always to create joy. Thanks for watching. Which quote did you enjoy the most? Please share your opinion in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.